Welcome back. This is the salvation class for the date as if it were the 17th of June of uh, Ventures Part 3. We are on Unit 10, almost finished, and we are going to do the workbook, page 125. Workbook 125. Here we go. How do you, how do these sentences use the present perfect? So what is the present perfect? What word do you have to have to have to show that you mean the present perfect? That's right. Has or have shows the present perfect. A, events that begin in the past and continue until now. What is it? There is now. Events that began in the past and continue until now. E. Of, sorry, start with that. A. B. Events that happened here in the past, time unclear. It happened here, but we're not sure when. This is now. See? Events that have been repeated in the past. Happened in the past, not one time, but several times. This is now. It happened <laughs> several times in the past. Let's see if we can do this together. Number one. She's been to the Louvre Museum in Paris and has seen the Mona Lisa. A, B, or C. Continual in the past, happened once in the past, but the time is unclear, or happened several times in the past. It happened once in the past, and the time is unclear, so the letter is going to be A. Let's read it again, please. Would you read it out loud? How many has perfect situations are in this sentence? Two. She has been, or the contraction she's, been to the Louvre Museum in Paris and has seen the Mona Lisa. This is where learning your uh, learning all of the most common verb forms on page 131 using the past participle, that is where you use what you use in the present tense. What is it? Be, was, or were, then become, became, become. If you're using the perfect, you would use the past participle, become. Uh, what about see? See, saw, seen. Past participle, see. That shows what you mean. You want to say what you mean. It means that it happened sometime in the past. Okay, let's go back. Page 125. Number two. I've already visited Alcatraz. I don't want to go again. Where is the have? Yes, it's in I've. I have already visited Alcatraz. So is it something that began in the past and continues until now? Is it something that began in the past, but you're not sure when it was the time? Or is it an event that happened several times in the past, but is not happening now? 
it would be B. It would be an event that happened in the past, but the time is unclear. Why am I repeating this? Because this is one of the hardest things to realize when to use. And it's something that I saw repeated and used incorrectly in some of the compositions. So repeating, I'm hoping, is going to give us a chance to remember a little bit better. Number three, the Bradleys have been in Hawaii for two weeks. They'll be back tomorrow. A, the Bradleys have been in Hawaii for two weeks. Here's now, they have been there continuously. A, event that began in the past and continues until now. The Bradleys have been in Hawaii for two weeks. Could it possibly be B, events that happened in the past and the time is unclear? No, we know the time. Is an event that has been repeated in the past? No, it's a one-time ongoing event that happened in the past and it's ending now. So it's going to be A, events that began in the past and continue on to just now. One time, would you please read it again for me? That's right, one more time together. The Bradleys have been in Hawaii for two weeks. They'll be back tomorrow. How long have you been in your house because of COVID? I have been in my house for three months. <laughs> Number four, we're at the county fair. Any perfect situation in there? No, that is just a straightforward, we are at the county fair. Next sentence, we've been on the Ferris wheel and we've seen the fireworks. So we've been on this Ferris wheel. We don't know how many times. It's the time is unclear. We've seen the fireworks. We think it's only once, but we know that it's going to be perfect because it fits several of these categories. Event that began, that happened in the past, the time, exact time of it, unclear, but it's pretty sure that we're talking about just now and just happened in the past. So what is it going to be? We've been on the Ferris wheel and we've seen the fireworks. What is it? Okay. Number five, I've read the Lord of the Ring four times. So, we, which one is this, A, B, or C? It is an event that has been repeated in the past. You read the book several, four times. One, two, three, four. It was repeated in the past. Use the present perfect. I have read Lord of the Rings four times. I'll probably read it again someday. Is that the perfect? No, it's the future. I will probably read it again someday. Number six, we've been standing in line to buy tickets to see adventure for an hour now and happened in the past, was kind of ongoing for how long? An hour. So here's this, here's the hour. It wasn't just a one-time thing and it was over, it was continuous. So what is it going to be? We have been standing for the contraction. That's right, 
We've been standing in line to buy tickets to see adventure for an hour now. Number seven, Jim said that his wife, he and his wife have eaten several meals at that restaurant and they've all been good. How many perfect tense situations are in this sentence? Two. Is there another verb situation in this sentence? Yes. And they're doing this to show you what? This is how to use the simple past and the present perfect. Which part of this sentence shows the simple past? Jim said, subject verb, past tense, Jim said, that he and his wife have eaten several meals at that restaurant. So this is an event that happened several times in the past, and they're talking about it now. They are talking about this event that happened several times in the past, so we're going to use the present perfect. C, events that have been repeated in the past. And they have all been good. Number eight, I know I've stayed at this hotel before, but I can't remember when. They're using several different verb tenses in this sentence. This is a perfect example to learn when and how to use verb tenses. Give me one simple present tense statement, subject verb combination. I know. Another one. I cannot remember. So I know and I cannot remember are present tense subject verb. Where is the perfect? I've stayed or I have stayed at this hotel before. It's B, an event that happened once in the past, but the time is unclear. I have stayed there. So how is the sentence going to read? I know I've stayed at this hotel before, but I can't remember when. Events that happened, events that were either one time or repeated in the past, uh, but the time is unclear. So that is when you use the perfect tense. Okay. I know this is tricky and difficult, easy when you're reading it here and choosing, but difficult when you're actually writing the composition. I know that. Okay, so actually what I would like us to do is to go back and I want you to put in your own idea. You're going to say, I've been to the which museum and have seen and name a picture because I want you to say, I have been. Everyone? So everybody's is going to be different. Okay, in this number two, you're going to name a place that you have visited. I have already visited. I don't want to go again. Okay, you're going to pretend that you have been in Hawaii. So you're going to say I. I have been in Hawaii for two weeks. I'll be back tomorrow. Again, I have been in Hawaii for two weeks. I'll be back tomorrow. 
Number two, I've been at, I went on the, and I've seen, okay, I know I can't hear you, but I want you to be practicing. Next, I've read, pretend, a book you've read four times. I'll probably read it again someday. Again, I've read four times. I'll probably read it again someday. Next, find somewhere you've been. We've been standing in line to buy tickets to for an hour now. What is it? We've been standing in line to buy tickets to for an hour now. Good. I don't think we can do this with I. Oh, actually, the last one. I know I've stayed at this hotel before, but I can't remember when. What is it? I know I've stayed at this hotel before, but I can't remember when. Okay. Let's do the bottom half of the page. Circle the best answer to complete the conversation. A, I've been to New York three times. Which is the correct answer to go with this statement? What is, the, what is the best next question someone will ask you if you say, I've been to New York three times? Yes. Do you think you'll go again someday? Because if you say, I've been to New York three times, and somebody says, how long have you been there? That just wouldn't make sense at all, would it? Okay. Number two. We've been in Peru for two weeks, but we haven't gone to Cusco. That's right. It's going to be B. Will you go to Cusco before you leave? Three. I've visited Loch Ness in Scotland, but I didn't see the monster. How long have you been there? Okay, so it assumes that you're been there for a while. Okay, next, we're in Tokyo right now. That's right, it means right now. So you're going to say what? How long have you been there? Good. Five, we haven't been to Nova Scotia yet. What is the appropriate follow-up question? That's right. Do you want to go? Number six. I've visited the museum more than once, but I haven't seen everything. What would be the best question to ask after someone says that? How many times have you been there? Okay, so we have just one more minute left in this segment. Let's read the um, statements again. One, I've been to New York three times. I have been to New York three times. Next, actually, I want you to read it without the contractions. I want you to say the haves. Two, we have been in Peru for two weeks, but we haven't gone to Cusco. Three, I have visited Loch Ness in Scotland, but I didn't see the monster. Next one, we're in Tokyo now. Is this perfect? Is this the present perfect? No. Number two, five. We have not been to Nova Scotia yet. Perfect. Number six, I have visited the museum more than once, but I have not seen 
everything. Perfect? Yes. Okay.